Okay, Ma, you're live. She's already gonna see you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, my Periscope followers. Good morning to those on the Motivational Monday call. This is Danielle K. Howell. I'm driving right now. I'm taking my kids to uh, to tennis and we're running a little, little bit late, but that's okay. That is just fine. But of course, no matter what, you know, nothing stops me from doing the things that I need to do. And one of the things that I feel is my duty to do is to hold my motivational Monday calls. I've been doing it for quite a few months now, for almost a year now. And you know, I get nothing but satisfaction from holding these calls because everybody needs motivation. Everybody needs to be inspired. Everybody needs to be encouraged. And everybody needs to know that they can live their best life no matter what. So today, I just want to encourage you guys to do the things that you need to do no matter what. As you can see, I'm driving in my car. I have my daughter. She's holding my Periscope, uh, you know, my Periscope uh, phone. I got two phones going. And this is the thing that you need to do. Sometimes, I think when we get complacent, we get complacent and we start to do things that just feels comfortable to us. We don't we don't push ourselves anymore. We don't we don't make things a priority. We don't go through go through the things that, you know, kind of makes us feel a little a little hesitant or or, you know, things that feel a little bit uncomfortable. But what I want to tell you is the things that make you feel uncomfortable, the things that that makes you feel um, you know, just just out of your element are the things that helps you grow. And if you want to grow, if you want to do more, if you want to be more successful, if you want to see more, more progress in your life, you have to grow and you have to do the things that feel uncomfortable. I don't know exactly who said it, but someone, someone who was very wise once said, you have to get comfortable with doing the uncomfortable. And that is what I'm gonna tell you today. You gotta to get comfortable with doing the uncomfortable. I think there's a lot of us, a lot, and I see it more and more and more, a lot of us that just stays in our comfort zone. We stay in our comfort zone. I mean, me included. You know, there's, there's times where I need to take on a task and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never done that before. You know what I mean? But I've been listening to uh, Grant Cardone. If you guys don't know him, I, I encourage you to look him up. You know, he wrote the 10X Factor. He has lots of books. But uh, he talks about, you know, 10x in your life, 10x in every area of your life. And it's the fear. You know, fear stops us in our tracks most times. But it's the fear that helps us. It's the indicator that lets us know that we're doing things that are progressing us forward. Right? We're doing things that are making us into a better person, into a better leader, into a better business person, into a better parent, into a better employer. Whatever it is that you set out to do, it's the fear of it all. If you're not feeling fear on a, on a consistent basis, when I say fear, I mean to the point where it's like, okay, I'm not sure about this. I've never done it before, but you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it and I'm going to do it. And that's what you need to be feeling on a daily basis because you need to be writing down the things that you need to do, writing down your goals, writing down your, your aspirations, writing down the things that you want to accomplish. And if it scares you to death, then do it. If it scares you to death, then do it. Because if it's not scaring you, that means you are still living in your comfort zone. If you're writing your goals too easy, you know, oh, I wanna, I wanna uh, reach this by, by uh, in three months, and guess what? You know, it's that easy. You reached it in two months, and you wasn't setting your goals high enough. You weren't setting your goals high enough. So you need to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. You gotta get comfortable with stepping out of your comfort zone. You gotta get comfortable with being afraid to do things that are unfamiliar to you. You gotta get comfortable in feeling that this may not work, but you know what? I'm gonna work my butt off and I'm gonna do everything that I need to do so that I can accomplish this task, so that I can accomplish this goal. All right. I'm taking my kids into girls. You're gonna run into. I'm sorry. I'm taking my girls into uh, into tennis, but they're big girls, so they know where to go. I'm just gonna turn my camera around real quick um, so that you guys can uh, see me. Hold on a second. So, uh, you know, so today 
my girls. <laughs> you know, I, I just love being a mom, a mompreneur. You know, I, I take my girls and they just, you know, I keep them busy. But that's the thing. And even them, even my girls, I tell them, you have to be uncomfortable with doing with doing the things that um, that are uncomfortable, right? You got you got to step out. You got to step out of it. You got to step out of the fear. You got to step into your power. You got to step into the portion that's going to take you to the next level. And that's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. You know, and I think every day we have to learn this. Every day we have to remind ourselves of that because it's so easy to go back to the regular way of living. That's the easiest thing to do is to live mediocre, right? I think most people in, in this world are living mediocre. Most people are not stepping into something that's going to, that's going to push them, that's going to challenge them, that's going to uh, ensure that they are growing, right? Most people are not. They're just not. They're afraid to do it. Why? Because they are afraid of, of being something or doing something that may make them great. Some people are afraid to be great. You know, some people are afraid to be great. Some people are afraid of failure, right? What if I do this and then I fail? What if? What if I fail? So what if you fail? So what? You get up and you dust yourself off and you get back out there. So many of us, we are so concerned about what it is that other people are thinking about us. Do they pay your bills? Are they the ones who's putting food on your table? You know, these are the things that you have to think about when you are out there trying to improve yourself and when you are trying to improve, help improve other people. Like right now, I'm walking around in the park, right? There's people out here in the park. They hear me talking because I talk loud, but do I care? Hopefully someone will be encouraged by what I say right now. Hopefully someone will be inspired by what I'm saying right now. So hopefully someone will be empowered to go out there and do something different in their lives because they're hearing me, me talking to you guys on this call so that they can and then they say wow you know what, what she's saying it's true it's true I gotta step out of my comfort zone I gotta step out I gotta step out I gotta do something different you know I'm tired of living like this I'm tired of, of my same paycheck I'm tired of saying that I'm gonna start a business and I haven't done it yet I'm tired of, of wishing hoping praying thinking you know hyping myself up just to say oh I'll do it tomorrow you know I'm, I'm tired of that so this is where you gotta you gotta step out of it. Step out of being tired. Step out of being sick and tired. So many of us we say, oh, we're sick and tired. We're sick and tired. But are you tired enough? Are you sick and tired enough that you're gonna do whatever it takes to get to that next level? That's the question. And that's the question that you should be asking yourself on a daily basis. When you wake up in the morning, what do I have to do? What do I have to do to 10X my life today? What is it? What is it that I'm scared to death to, of doing? And you know what? Do that the first thing in the morning. The first thing in the morning that you are scared to death to do, do it. Do it because that'll set you up. And once you see that you've accomplished that, you'll go on and accomplish something else and then something else and then something else after that. And then before you know it, you are accomplishing things left and right, things that you didn't even know you were able to accomplish. That's how it happens. You know, it becomes a ripple effect. It just, and you start, you will start to affect other people by your life. You'll be surprised how many people you inspire and how many people you, you empower with your own life. When you start stepping into your life, into your power, because there are so many people that are afraid. They're afraid, but then they say, wait a minute. If she can do it, I can do it. You know, I remember when, when, when he or she was doing X, Y, and D, Z, when we used to hang out together doing this, you know, and now, wow, she's doing that. Wow, he's doing this now. And I've always wanted to do that too. Inspire somebody, guys. You got to step out of, step out of that fear. Cross that fear. Cross it. Cross it. Cross it. It's just a challenge. Fear is not real. Fear is just false false evidence appearing real it's false it's all in your mind everything is all in your mind and what is it? and whatever you make your mind up to do and to become you can do it and you can step past that fear and you can get comfortable with being uncomfortable you know every new step that you take will be something new something challenging but it'll be great because you will be you will have challenged yourself to do something that that you've never thought possible and it's an amazing, amazing feeling. So 
today, you know, these calls are only about 15 minutes long every Monday. And I'm here every Monday, Motivational Monday. Every Monday I'm here to speak some life into you because if it wasn't for other people speaking life into me, I wouldn't be here right now. You know, I, I sought out mentors. I sought out people that, that I wanted to model after. I sought, out, I sought out people that I felt had power that they could transfer to me. We are all energy. We are all energy, guys. We are, we are energy. So right now, I am transferring my energy onto you. As I walk around this track in this park, you know, it's, it's a beautiful day, not too sunny, but I'm, I'm, I'm hyped up, I'm fired up. Um, you know, every morning I wake up and I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that I have a voice. I'm thankful that I was put here to do the things that I, that I set out to do. You know, nothing was given to me, nothing. Everything that I set out to do, I worked for it. And I continue to work for it. And I will continue to work for it. And nothing's gonna stop me from working for it. Why? Because I know that I was here for a purpose. And that's what you have to learn, that you were here for a purpose. So whatever it is that has crossed your mind in the past, that you said, oh, I think I was meant to do this, go ahead and do it. Go, I dare you, I challenge you to go ahead and do it, do it. Start on it today. Start writing out your plans. Start writing out your goals. Start writing out the things that, that, the things that are gonna challenge you to be the better person, to be the best person that you can be because we all have not even touched the surface of who we really are and who we really, really can be and the things that we really, really can achieve, right? So it's about 10, 15 now. I wanna thank you guys for coming on this scope, coming on my motivational call and, uh, you know, Make sure that you have a great day. Make sure you're stepping into your power. Make sure that you are challenging your challenges and that you are, you are uh, overcoming your fears. All right. Thanks so much, guys, for chiming on. It's been Danielle K. Howell, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.